Hello, everyone. That was Bach's prelude from his first suite. My name is Ife Tile Ali Landing. Now I have a question for you. How many of you have been to an orchestra concert? Oh, wow. OK, good. Um, if you've been to a classical music concert, you kind of know what to expect. Typically, when people imagine a classical musician, they imagine maybe an older white man, an Asian boy, or a South Asian girl. Probably at the bottom of that list, is a little African-American girl. Now, we should consider why that description was probably at the bottom of the list, if it even made the list at all. Music has been in my family for generations. I grew up in a family of musicians. My mother is a violinist, my aunt is a cellist, my grandfather is an orchestral violist, and my great-grandmother was a pianist. Now, since I never met my great-grandmother, whenever I imagine her, I just imagine like an old version of me playing piano. So um, as a child, I grew up in music. My, I would sit in my mother's lessons as a newborn while she was teaching. As I grew up, I would run around her music school and constantly hear the sound of an instrument. And I would also go to most of her orchestra concerts. My family has been super duper supportive of my career. My grandfather, we call him Abuelo, comes to almost all of my performances if they're in Chicago or anywhere near Chicago. My aunt will travel to wherever to support me. She recently just drove like six hours to see me perform with the Southwest Michigan Symphony Orchestra for maybe 10 minutes. Um, music has truly shaped me. As a child, I never really noticed the difference between me and my other musician friends. I just saw the fact that we all play instruments and was like, OK. As I got older, I started to realize that I was different. Recently, I've noticed that I subconsciously changed the way I act or present myself depending on the crowd. When me and my family are the only black people at a concert or competition, I try to act more presentable and not 16 because I know in other people's eyes, I represent the black community in classical music. One of my most memorable performances was when I competed at the Sphinx competition for black and Latino musicians. Even though it was a competition, I felt comfortable and welcomed and it was almost weird knowing that everyone there saw me as a competitor, despite my skin tone. At, like, it was weird because usually when I go to a competition, everyone's like, oh, she's not going to do well because she is black. Absolutely no one was shocked that I played an instrument because, well, we all did. For the first time in my cello journey, I was able to be 100% me. 
Now, not all my experiences have been as great. After a performance one time, I was relaxing backstage and a lady came up to me, and after congratulating me and telling me how much she enjoyed my performance, she then said, I'm glad you're doing this, not all that other stuff. I don't really know what she meant exactly by that other stuff, but if she meant listening to R&B and rap, that other stuff is still me. I love fashion, I love hanging out with friends, I love dancing, going to music festivals, and everything else teens like to do. I even shaved my head and had a mohawk when I was nine. I am very proud of my culture. I often wear traditional African garb, natural hair, and bright makeup to express myself. I've always loved the idea of makeup, the bright colors, meticulous work, endless possibilities. Ultimately, I don't want to fit into what I call the traditional classical music attire. I see no reason to change myself or what I see as beautiful for somebody else's standards of beauty or professionalism. As I perform more, I find it even more important to be me and proudly me so that other little black girls and boys can feel more comfortable being a part of this wonderful classical music world. Thank you. Now please enjoy Julio by Mark Summers. <laughs> 